That's the trick. That's the fast way for the students that are super high speed. The question goes like this. What is the mean of a sequence of multiples of three that begins with negative three and ends with 15? Now, I picked this question for my test because it uses some very key terminology. Mean, sequence, and multiples. Most students already know what multiples means. So multiples of two, two, four, six. Multiples of three, three, six, nine. Multiples are how you multiply, right? Mean means average. The mean is all of the numbers put together divided by how many numbers there are. That's the easy way to say it. The sequence is the pattern. All it means is just pattern, the pattern. And the pattern of multiples of three, well, everybody knows the multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12. So that's that pattern. It starts at negative three and ends at 15. If you're my student and you're taking the test and you see this question and you know no idea, you have absolutely no idea how to answer this question, you will write at least this much. Starts at negative three, ends at 15. And then you can start looking at the different options, A, B, C, D. But what I want is I want you to know exactly how to get the answer here. Starts at negative three and then multiples of three. So if I say negative three and then I put three more, that becomes zero. So this is our pattern that we're building. Three more than zero is three. Three more than three is six, nine, 12, eight. And we've reached our end. Now you know it's going to be one of these numbers. Now what you would have to do normally is you have to add all of these up and then divide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, divided by seven. So this is going to be the big number, the sum. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and add them all up, but the mean is actually going to be the middle number. So you take, get rid of those three, get rid of these three, and you know that the mean is going to be six. I got rid of these three numbers and these three numbers, and the mean is gonna be six. That's the trick, that's the fast way for the students that are super high speed. But if you wanna go through and solve the mean, you have to add everything together. We know three and negative three, those are gonna cancel out, and zero, that doesn't contribute to our sum, right? Because if we're adding all of these together, so three and negative three, if we add those two together, they go to zero. Zero is just zero. Now we can add these. So six plus nine is 15, and I like doubles, so we'll add the 15 and the 15 first, and we get 30. So that's those and those and then 30 plus 12. So what's 12 more than 30? 42. All right. Last question, 42 divided by seven. If you don't know your sevens times tables, it's because you haven't practiced them. You need to practice your sevens times tables so that it becomes that much faster. So 42 divided by seven is equal to six. Just like I told you, all right? The answer here is six and that's how to solve it. If this was unclear or anything like that, uh, now's your chance to ask the question in the comments. I'll put a link to the quiz so you can try it out for yourself, see how you do on those 10 questions. And then if you want to work with me as your tutor, I'll put that link in there as well. So all of you guys out there trying to join the military, get that ASVAB score you need, good luck. All right, peace.